my name is Vinko Zlatic. I'm a theoretical physicist and I'm working in uh, Institute Ryudger Boskovic in Zagreb and uh, CNR in Rome. First you had the fall of the Berlin Wall, wall then you had the opening of China and of course you had this massive movement to deregulate the economy. In that sense that, for instance, Glass-Steagall Act was repealed in 92 or 93, which enabled the different banks to start to uh, uh, gamble on assets which were not possible before. So you had the much more connected world of finance today than it was before. And also not only of finance, but of the trade and the general economy. The point is, originally uh, the market hypothesis assumes that every player on the market can trade with any, everybody. So in a sense you have the complete network, everybody is connected with everybody. But it, this doesn't happen, we see it in the data. For instance, the bank ownership data show that not everybody is owning every stock of every bank. Uh, the uh, credit networks between the, the, the banks are also showing this kind of, of uh, broader structure of more, more, more complex architecture than you, you have in the assumptions which are based actually in the, in the most of the, the fundamental economical models. Under the FOC project we have collected uh, different sets of data. Some are mapable to networks, some are not mapable to networks. The cases of, of data which are mappable to networks are, for instance, the ownership network, so who owns a company. The essential link is then the ownership. Then we have the data about the overnight credit between the banks. So which bank have borrowed money to which other bank? Now the link is the borrowing of the money. I would personally say that there are two things. First, the usually economists don't like to uh, dirty their hands with the data. So we are actually collecting the data and try to build the models based on data and not about the stylist assumptions about how economy works. And the second thing, as said before, we are not assuming that everybody can trade with everybody because although in principle I can trade with somebody in China now over the internet and so on, it almost never happens. There is a structure, there is a, there is a certain hierarchy, architecture, which is a network representation of, of the real trading patterns and not of the idealist, idealized ones. We were analyzing the structure of the, of the networks which we found in data. We showed that for certain types of structures we can expect more severe uh, avalanches of bankruptcies and for some types of structures they are going to be less severe. My objective in my modeling activity is now to integrate different models of, of uh, bank failures and of estimating of systemic risk and try to devise a method for the taxation, additional taxation of banks, which means taking the money from the banks, but in such a way not only to reduce the risk, which is obviously why you tax the bank in the first place, but on the other hand to do it in such a way that maybe you can uh, improve the market efficiency of the banks because if they have less risk they can lend more money than they would than they could if they would have more risk so in the in the in the essence we are not sure but it's possible that we can find some optimum point mm -hmm.